if movie and TV shows about Seattle have taught us anything, it's that it always rains here, right? Well, I mean, they're not far off. Terry Holloman found out about a new golf club in Redmond where you can golf or even learn to golf, rain or shine, and he paired up with an old friend to check it out. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here at Evergreen Golf Club in Redmond, Washington, and I'm here with my friend Jermaine Kirsch. You guys may know him from playing football for the Seattle Seahawks, but now he's in a new venture, a new sport, golf. First and foremost, man, this place is incredible. Indoor facility, climate control, golfing. How did you get involved in golf? Yeah, I started playing in 2014, just kind of picked it up. Uh, my stepdad got me into it, and as competitive as I am, and um, it's something that I uh, have a huge passion for and it just continues to grow. So it continues to grow into this thing that we have right here. So what kind of things can people expect to do when they come to Evergreen? Like, Yeah, we kind of wanted to create a one-stop shop for a lot of golfers. We have the simulator base, we have uh, six trackmans, we have two about golf, so that's eight total. Uh, we wanted to be a little bit different, so we decided to dig a hole and create a bunker just to kind of create a one-stop shop for a lot of golfers where they're not having to travel to different places to uh, get their work done, where they can just come to one place at Evergreen. Now I think it's time for me to give this thing a shot. I'm telling you right at the gate. Well, let's swing them. I don't know how to golf <laughs> at all, so we've got our work cut out for us. I need to do some warm-ups to get started, right? We're going to get you warmed up. We're going to get you set up with Brian. We're going to get that swing right. All right, let's get to it. And let's go. Terry's going to start in a big rounded back position. He's going to create a big round with his back. Okay. Keeping his upper back as round as he can. He's going to start with his low back, working into extension. He's going to walk this down nice and slow. Good, 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 good. Get into a nice full big back bend here. And then from the low back, he's going to work back into flexion. He's working slowly back up. It's a great check to get this back moving. Also a good check to make sure we don't have any pinchy pain stuff going on in our back before we start playing golf. Uh, I definitely don't want to get the pinchy back. All right, now I'm here with Brian, and Brian is gonna show me the very basics of golf, because I am a super beginner, so how do I start, man? The big thing with the grip is we wanna make sure that our hands are together. Just like baseball, we don't wanna feel that separated feeling. We wanna feel that those hands are able to stabilize that club head. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and set up to that golf ball. Very important part here, everybody says keep your head down. Mm -hmm. I say keep your eyes down, so allow your eyes to watch that golf ball, but you don't have to get your head stuck down in that position. But most importantly, as we swing through this shot and we strike this golf ball, we're gonna make sure that just like in any other sport, that weight is transferring to that lead side, feeling that weight and everything extending to that, to that actual target there. Ah. It found it. There's oh, oh, just oh. a little bit over. So I just need to know one thing before I, I get off this. My swing, and my back swing and the, the what is it, the forward? Yeah, down swing, down swing. Three. Yeah. Does it look worse than Charles Barkley? Well, no, not at all. No, it does not look okay. like Charles Barkley. I'm I'm better than Charles Barkley right now with my swing, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, there's really not an indoor place anywhere near this place that has an indoor sand trap like this. Nope. A lot of people have a hard time getting it out of the bunker. Yeah. Well, this is a perfect place to practice at. All right. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna set up. You're gonna open up the face a little bit. Almost like a scoop. And go ahead and swing. I hit the other, the other flag I wasn't aiming to. I can't figure out where I'm supposed to put my feet just yet. Let's finesse this thing. Oh, that's a good one. We in there? I'm oh. on the, oh, oh you on the grid? Woo! Let's go. I'm telling you, boy. Now that you hit the green, now we're gonna putt for dough. So this right here, we have putt view. This is gonna give you all the practice that you need and help you learn how to read the green. To give you a little help, we're gonna go ahead and throw, Whoa. we're gonna throw the contour lines. What they did is they scanned the green mm -hmm. and they show all the breaks. So you have all the slope direction of where the green breaks on, um, on the pup view green. And if you really want to get deep dive into it, we can give you the percentage oh, of wow. each break. That is crazy. Oh, it's telling me that I make, the, make it curve just past the hole. Is that what it's, my aiming point? Your aiming point, yes. Booyah! Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bravo, Terry, that was awesome. And then